Welcome back to Metroid Prime Hunters. So, uh, we got one more planet to discover on the uh, Olympic Cluster. Yes, there's only four planets in this solar system. That's kind of weird. This is Arcterra. Did I see enemy info, depending on which planet you're looking at? That's right. Uh, most of the hunters have entered the stage, as it were. They've all heard about the ultimate power. They've heard about Samus Aran, who has, what, four, uh, well, three of these things now. Three? Three. Yeah, three of these things. She's going to get her fourth. So, uh, I think, uh, th the, the scramble is on. The gold rush is on. They coming. They are coming. Luckily, we're able to escape the planet after a small countdown. And just be like, okay, later, losers. So this is Arcterra, the ice planet. It has it's very, very Fendrana y if you look at it. Look, we even have gamers. I don't understand how uh creatures from Planet Zeebs and Talon 4 are here in the Olympic cluster. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense lore wise, but I don't think they thought that far ahead. Mm, no, I was about to say, what what is lore but just a uh, just a blanket to start? Well, people really want lore in Metro games now. There but is some really good lore. It's, it's great lore. That's why everybody loves Metroid Dread so much, because of the lore! <laughs> Den, great game, but, you know. Yeah, it's just a fantastic game. Lore came second, obviously. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jump scares in my Metroid game, what? Was that like a, a bat? Yeah, it's just like the Shriek bats. Thing. Okay. They, they tried to put as much Metroid Prime as they could into this game. I thought you were about to say this planet is like, oh, here's the Metroid Prime planet. So let's see, have we hit all the major Nintendo staples? We got the ice level. Have we? Ha We've had the magma level, or uh, the fire level. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. So the hunters not only want to kill me, they want to kill each other because only there can be only one. It's like Metroid Prime Highlander. Oh, nice. So this is Trace, and I believe that's Noxus. Yeah, Noxus. Noxus. He's he, he's the Vaw. The Vaw. He uses the Judicator. It's a <sighs> it's an ice weapon. Oh no, it's, not the ice weapon. So I'm pretty sure Trace is out there too. Is he the sniper? Yeah, Trace is the sniper guy, and uh, he, and uh, I, I think they're both in play right now because you look at my radar down there. It's, what yeah, when it it's, shows up, kind of go nuts. It's it's it shows that there's two enemies there. So I think Trace and Noxus are both here. But d uh, if you d if you defeat one, then the other one the, the other one goes away. So I want to stay in here. Y yeah, this is extremely easy. This is very safe. This is a very safe uh, strategy because Trace cannot get me here. Using the battle hammer doesn't really work too much. But uh, I've kind of found that charge beams are kind of working too. Look at him running away. Come here, you wimp! Fight me! Oh no, he's trying to get me out there so Trace can headshot me. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're thinking! It's not gonna work! Actually, that's a bitchin' strategy. I better on the block, you asshole! So let me ask this. Can they hurt one another? That I don't know. Like, will Trace auto-fire when Noxus is in... is in range? Something tells me that when the girl with three Octoliths shows up, I think that she's going to be the biggest target. All of a sudden, they look at each other from across the room and just do the, huh? <clears throat> yeah, just do the nod. <laughs> just you know, a little handshake. You know, <clears throat> <clears throat> well, well, you know clawed <laughs> tendril is <clears throat> in a very human mutual understanding. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe their version of you know making a uh, a brief truce is just like smacking each other across the face. Understand. <laughs> Uh, Noxus and Trace uh, see Samus. The Noxus turns to Trace, and he says to him, And Trace goes, What? <laughs> I understand. What'd you say? What? I, don't, I don't understand. I didn't. Samus looks down and says, Oh my god, I can read the subtitles! They're making a brief truce! Ha ha, the subtitles say alien language! Ha ha ha! Oh no. The only thing we can't translate. Huh. What is this? That is a door that needs, uh, heat. But there's also force fields everywhere. That's kind of nonsense. So we have to find six proxy locks to Five, deactivate six. them. Wow. 
is just kind of exploring around, you know, taking some time to, to look, look around and maybe have the turrets that were planted there uh, get you, you know. <laughs> so I'm glad you told me uh, last episode that we will be returning to certain planets. Yes. Because from the looks of it, you know, you said there was a door needs fire to open. I was thinking, oh, we get the firepower up here in the ice planet? Great. Actually, no, we don't. Good. We are getting a new weapon, though. Probably the ice there's the, beam. There's the first one. Excellent. This is a door Pur that needs uh, super cooled plasma. Okay, so plasma beam and uh, what was the fire beam called? Well, we don't have it yet. Well, no, plasma beam was because because red. The... Hmm. Well, remember these these don't have names like you know ice beam, wave beam, that, plasma that's, beam. That's true. Wait. wait. Wait, it means like, you know, shock coil, vault driver, judicator, battle hammer, it's just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> now that we're done naming boss names and their weapons. Here's the second lock. I shall fight you with my ultimate weapon, the judicator. <laughs> Not the judicator! <sighs> You've been judicated. And that's when the, the edgy hunter comes in and is like, Mine's called the executioner! It's my favorite Terminator spinoff, The Judicator. <laughs> I intend to return. <laughs> it still plays the whole theme and everything. <laughs> but like, you know, one different note. And then it just starts playing off to the races or something like that. So all those locks get the shield key, which opens up this one door. All of that for one door. All of that for one door. Fantastic. It's an important door, though. It's a door that we'd like to go through. Need a way to extend your game? Have 12 locks, or 6 locks, and then one door. Oh, do not get me wrong. Uh, they are starting to add in a lot of busy work now. Okay. So this is our first artifact! Yay! Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, good Applause. job, good yeah, job. Right, right, right. Yeah, one out of three. But we're not done yet. Oh! Hey, oh, hey! Wait. There's more! What do you know? Yeah. Oh. Does... Yep. E-Tank! I know E-Tank's Mega Man, but, I mean, it's a tank. It, it's, it says E on it. It has E on it. E it's, still it's means fun. energy in Mega Man. Th this is why this we This is the most Mega Man Metroid game ever! It's yeah. an E-Tank, goddammit! Yeah, this is why we have so many comparisons. Mega Man, Samus... Both robotic in some way. She's not robotic. No, her suit is. No, it isn't. She steals uh, power-ups from the planets and or different hunters. They belong to her. They were left for her by the Chozo. Completely different. Didn't we steal the hammer from the other guy? Well, these were stealing. Look, they started it. But we're not going to use them again. We're going to we're going to take these weapons, <laughs> use them for our purposes, and when we're done, we're just probably going to, I don't know, do Give them to the Federation? D d yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, great idea. So sometimes busy work can be okay. I like I like this part. So big vault door. Mm. It's closed. Need to open it. Not receiving power. We have one exposed uh, power conduit here. Okay. By scanning it, it uh, makes a surge of electricity happen, and stop. Or and this deactivates the force fields. Oh. So now we have four open power conduits, and we need to well. Can't shoot them. Gotta scan them. Trying to get some use out of the scan visor that they threw in there. Mm-hmm. So there's that one. And there's that one. Hold on, I need to open my door. Let me just that look at it for a little bit. And that one. And okay. then that crashes another uh, power surge of power that uh, disrupts the war wasp hives. Another attack! Oh no! Oh! Okay. These are barbed war wasps. No. Oh. The way these basically work is, is uh, the hives are enemy spawners, so you definitely got to take out the hives first. Oh man, having a, a barbed stinger, that just means you can't get it out. And the enemy spawners in this game are fucking brutal. The second you kill one enemy, if there is an active spawner, it will give you another one to replace it. Kind of like blips into- yeah, I just yeah, saw it blips into just, existence. Whoosh, oh, hi, we're here again. There it is! It's not like in the other Metroid Prime games where if you shoot one, it's like a little- you, you have like about 10 seconds before another one pops mm -hmm. up. Giving you time to, uh, you know, you know, look around the room, load yourself a missile, uh -huh. check yourself in the mirror, then, yep. you know, maintain 10 and 2, and then get it from behind. Looking badass today. Yeah. 
put the compact away. It's ready. It's time to kill some more war wops. I think they put a little too many war wops in here. The frame rate's starting to chug I a little bit. I just noticed that. Yeah, yeah, slow down just a little bit. It's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no worries. It has been a hot minute since I've seen lag in a DS game. I really think that they pushed this console to the limit with this game, though. They did. At least what you can do for 3D graphics. I've seen some impressive stuff with the DS, though. So I uh, watched a video last night talking about the DS and the 3DS. Mm -hmm. DS sold amazing numbers. Well, yeah, it was basically like everyone's little Game Boy that they could have. 3DS was a bit rocky to start. To start, but then it got some games. And then it got, yeah, it got yeah, some good figure. stuff. Got a new War Wasp over there. This one's blue. Is it freezing? It yes, freezes. it is free it's freezing. Yeah, so if you rub the touch screen, sometimes it helps you thaw faster. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> create some friction. Just Yeah, really. Just create friction. <laughs> you know, just... All right, we're back. hands together and... <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying if I fall into a frozen lake, I could just go... Ah, well, okay, well, we're good. Well, you might, your arms might be frozen. You might not well, well, I mean, if I get out. If you get out. Yeah, well, okay. If you're not there to pull me out of the lake, I might as well just call it. All right. Now the game's being mean. There's our new weapon. Okay, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Now they're being mean. Uh, because platforming? All right. So here we go. Step one, scan this thing. Platform controls are online. So Platform. this shifts that. And Platform. puts that there Platform. so you can make it across. Platform. Time. Go into Morph Ball. Try and find your way to jump. The, the, the bomb jump in this game is atrocious because the bomb doesn't explode when you think it does. You have to boost, which is holding R, by the way. You have to boost to make it over there because you don't have, the bomb jump is, to, is too inaccurate. You have to boost your way over to make to cross the gap. Then, make your way up here, go over here, and then stop! Hammer time. Stop! Come this way. Hmm. Then make it across the bridge. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. And now you're safe. Just make your way over, over here. here. Drop and down. Then. And then. What do we have here? Uh, a nuke. The Judicator. This is the super cool plasma. It's basically your ice beam. But it's not quite the ice beam. So does this mean Noxus dropped it? I don't know. I don't know if he dropped it or he he just has a copy of it. Just yeeted it up here. So uh, by pressing that gray button on the top right, that's how you can switch between your special stolen, I mean, hunter weapons. Yeah, that whole thing was timed, by the way. Yeah, I called it. That was mean. That was very mean. You should. You guys need to be ashamed for putting that in there. But luckily, we did a first try. You know, everything's all cool. Good job. Ah, now they added ice ice physics. Well, it's an ice planet. It's an ice planet. I, I should have expected on, that, but man. I thought but I thought Samus would have like you know I don't know rubber soled heels or something. Nigga, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Just need to call up the uh, so, intergalactic shoes for cruise. Shoot over here and then do a little jump. Good job. That's how we get a UA expansion. There's a turret back here, meaning that we were supposed to do that because there's a shield key back here. That opens up the way to the second artifact. Making good time, still making good time. Making great time, you kidding me? And now that way's opened up. Nah. It actually looks missable. They're not missable, you have to get them in order to fight the boss. No, I mean like falling down farther and accidentally missing it and having to go through that whole thing again. Well, I mean, there's a... The, uh, all right, so was that a pit? Or? You, you, you drop down there. That is a pit, but it it jumps you up. There's like a boost. Oh, uh, okay. So it, yeah. If you were to drop down there and not get the shield key, then you'd have to go up there and do it again. What are the, these gross things? They hurt. They're like hurty, spiky vines or whatever. Ow! Missile expansion. Might as well drop down here too. Because there's another pew, UA expansion. Pew, pew. Outstanding. Good lord. I think we picked up half the collectibles in this one planet. Well, I mean, we're only exploring half of the planet today. <laughs> there. Alright, now to get the third artifact. Surprisingly, it was in my pocket the entire time! Aha! Whoa! If only. She accidentally stepped on it like three steps onto the planet. What is that on the- oh! 
I'm not the biggest fan of the labyrinthine design of these planets, though, because it's really easy to kind of mm -hmm. get sidetracked, especially in the Celestial Archives. But, you know, th there's... It's fine. It's, it's supposed to, that's supposed to be your, ex your exploration. You know, oh, these mazes and all that. Oh, Ooh, I got lost. Can't tell where to go. The map doesn't help too much. Yeah. Now we have entered into something called the Frost Labyrinth. Oh, hey! Left, well, right, oh, your well, only well, okay, well, that was, that was kind of simple. I, I was wondering if, you know, you take a wrong turn, you accidentally get hurt, but... Nope. So, this sealed door is where we gotta get to. There are two other exits out in this Ow. labyrinth, but, uh, they all lead to red doors and we can't go there yet. So, the first Ow. thing we wanna do is to this part right here, there's our shield key. This is another really mean bit. Gonna bomb jump just so that you get out of there so you're aligned, and then do a special bomb jump to get that. By the oh. way, by the way, fucking nailed it, can I just say? Pretty I good. I fucking nailed that shit. Pretty good. To the nth degree. I'm very proud of myself, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. To the negative degree. It's cold. That's some self-praise there is what that is. <laughs> Can I, also, good at Metroid. can I also say that this game is hurting my hands really badly? As in right now. You're not even playing it and my it's hurting your hands. Well, my thumb is kind of cramping just looking at me, remembering all this. Uh, actually, this is one of my favorite parts because now I, I don't need the touch screen, I can just use the D-pad to move. You know, uh, your, your bombs are controlled with L, your boost is controlled with R, so I, you know, I don't need to use the stylus. So this is giving my hands a rest. It's like, oh yes, ah, oh, we're, we're doing alright. If okay. If only Metroid Prime Hunters was the first game to start up oh. the Nanny Nintendo. Nanny the, Nintendo? Yeah. When the 3DS came out, oh. a lot of games just started saying after 30 minutes, Be sure to take a break! What are you talking about? This started it. Nanny Nintendo started, I think, in 2004 because that was when they started to put the whole WARNING! HEALTH AND SAFETY! warnings before every game. Oh, that's true. The DS opens with yeah, one. Yeah, the DS opens with one. The Wii opens with one! Switch don't care. Switch is like, hey, Nintendo Switch, get to it. <laughs> Play the game! Something, something, health and safety, you don't give a shit. Mm, you don't give a shit. It was in the manual. You already threw that out. It, it, yeah. We warned you not to pour juice on it, so if you do, you know, don't blame us. <laughs> no, that, that just reminds me of the uh, the silly warnings that the Wii and Wii U had. Do not insert Wiimote into toaster. Do not date your Wii. Do not date... <laughs> Do not submerge Wii U in water. <laughs> that, that, that does remind me one about, uh, it's, it's something similar, but like, how to talk with your baby. You know, <laughs> it, you know, do, it's it's a mother just talking with you, know, like, you know, uh -huh. oh, you know, uh, 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 hello, baby. <laughs> don't! <laughs> you know, they both have wine, the mom's like, oh, uh hi, -huh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> do not wine and dine like, your baby. Like, like gossiping, you know? It's like, <laughs> so Sarah said to me, she's, <laughs> and her husband, do not take baby to hairdresser and <laughs> and break open the wine with the girls. So the way to the portal is kind of complicated because of the DS and its pathetic RAM. What? You'd think that we could just, you know, go up to the portal and just go go from there, but we have to open up the vault door again. The vault door closed since we went into the frost labyrinth. What? Yeah. It's closed now. But why? Because it closed! Now we gotta go back over here. Is this seriously a RAM issue? We, got, we gotta... Well, it, it, it... You know, it unloaded the room, and part of the things that unloaded... It, it, it unloaded oh. was the fact that this door was open. Oh, interesting. It remembered the fact that the flag was ticked for we can open it by scanning that, but now we gotta defeat this blue war wasp again. Hmm. You're a dick, Mr. Blue War Wasp. I don't even know how an insect can, you know, shoot out super-cooled plasma like that. I'm still not convinced that our regular bees here on planet Earth are normal. <laughs> Depends on which bees. Bumblebees are fine. He just kind of buzz around and is like, Hey, it's good, buzz around. Take some pollen. Yeah, it makes like, what kind of animal's defense mechanism also kills it, but deals damage to the- to its attacker? Well, fight or flight. Okay, you got me there. All right, time for a new boss! We got another pillar filled with eyes! It's Sledge! Uh, mm. 
So this is boss number two. Yep, changed. Hello, Slench. This cool. Is, yep, this is the second variation of Slench. I'm noticing a pattern here. What pattern could that be? Slench 2A. So the th so the the bosses aren't completely reused. They kind of take the Mega Man powers and roll a die and give them that. Okay. So it this thing shoots out magma at you, meaning that the uh, meaning that the Judicator we just got is probably best to use in this situation. Uh huh. Because that's because those ten those tentacles down there can only be damaged with specific weapons now. Oh. And also. If you use the specific weapon that they tell you to use, that does a lot more damage now, too. Look how, look how much health we're just sapping away from this thing. He's still hard to hit, though, which is what I fucking hate about this boss. Yeah, that was a good... about a third. Wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. What's really helping is finding everything. We have a... we, we found, you know, most of the UA expansions, so we're well equipped for this fight. I, lo I love hearing we found most on episode 5. <laughs> You want me to have to come back and get the rest? Oh, I know, but it's st it's still interesting to hear. Oh, by the yeah. way, we're almost done. That was that was some good damage. That was a charged judicator. So one thing that you can do in these slench fights, I may have demonstrated before, is kind of stand back here, kind of avoiding their uh, hunter attacks. But the green torpedoes that he, that they shoot out, you can use that to get some health and uh, universal ammo back. Oh, nice. That could help immensely in later versions of this fight. Later versions. Oh, you... You think it's the last time we're gonna see Slinch? Well, of course not. Of course not. It looks like we only have two ideas for bosses. Hey, that, that's who you talking about. We have the, we because have the, the hunter. hunters aren't actually the bosses. We they're, have to, they're just side distractions. No, they are. They are the bosses. It's called Metroid Prime Hunters. This is, these aren't bosses. This is just their security system. Uh-huh, yeah. This I, is just the Olympic security system. That's I, all. I don't really want to fight security systems. For my bosses. Well, and we're Metroid fighting the Olympics, and they're, we're taking their most precious things. So we have to get three artifacts that are well hidden with these shield keys that have arbitrary conditions for appearing, so we can enter a portal that takes us into some place outside of space and time. And now we gotta fight their fucking yeah, Roomba or something. Are you fighting to defend Metroid Prime Hunters? Oh my god. I mean, hmm. I mean, I mean, I believe you're a Metroid Prime Hunters apologist. I mean, it's a little bit of devil's advocate, yeah. <laughs> but it, but it's not just the same fight again. But it is. I know the same it's fight. they they added a couple things, but it, it's it's still technically the same type of boss. It it really is. Oh, this annoying just just shoot the fucker. thing. Just, oh my shoot god! The oh, my please, god. No. oh my god! Oh my god! Die! Please, please die! Please, I'm begging Will you. Will you die? Yes! Yeah, 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 there we go. Shish! Shish almighty on five crackers. Good job, good job. Yes. Octolith number four. And we now have half of the octoliths. Well, we will as soon as I, uh, grab it. I mean, you gotta just go grab that and, uh... Uh, pick that up to uh, get uh, one of these things. The security system. Any, any, anyway, uh, and, uh, ha -ha. MacGuffin Diamond. Here we go. It's lo it looks like one of the crystal shards from Kirby 64. Everything comes back to Kirby. Are we gonna fight O2 in the end? <laughs> Zero two, I mean. I was about to say I'm fighting oxygen. Number four. Half the game is done. Our, Our people, people are gone. gone yet, yet we, we remain. remain. Ominous. Who is we? Yeah. Who dat? Who dat? Huh. Oh well. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna say seven minutes. Seven minutes? Seven minutes to escape. Seven minutes. You say seven. It's a hunch. Wow. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I understand how the game works. We make the levels more complex and then give them a lot more time to escape. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be. It, sh it shouldn't take too long to get back, right? It's, it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to take too long it's to get back. It's not going to. These levels are short. Uh, now, if something I mean, happens I, to get in your way. I mean, I mean, I think part of the confusion is like figuring out where to go. But uh, you know, get, you, you know, make a good beeline. Then we can do it. Just kind of remembering you know, which way is which. I, I think that big open plaza is going to be kind of difficult too to navigate if you don't know where you're going. I'm actually going to give partial kudos to Nintendo giving more time on the Labyrinthian stage. Why are the force fields back? Huh, so we gotta fight? What do you mean? We gotta fight? Oh, we got, what are you talking about? I think we gotta fight. 
Yeah, some guardians show up and- wow. GET KILLED BY TRACE! Oh yeah, you think Trace just forgot about us? Oh no! I think he's kind of phasing in and out. So what- so the thing that Trace does is, uh... Ow. When he stands still long enough, he turns kind of transparent. Ow. Also, he has a cloaking device. Trying try to scam, but this, this guy ain't nothing. Ba Battle hammer is his weakness. Oh, perfect. Because, I mean, you know, what's the what's the most efficient thing against a sniper? A uh, shotgun. Well, I mean, if you're able to get to the sniper from close the, range. I mean, I'm running, I'm running out of ammo. I better save that, so just go with charge beams. I can get enough pot shots into him, but this <laughs> this form is mean. This is the Triskelion. <laughs> I actually thought he fell. <laughs> he <laughs> fell off the cliff. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, God, she is a hunter. <laughs> Medic! <laughs> He saw me. Oh, yep, yeah, he definitely saw me. He's got a really nasty. See, Trace is a really nasty boss to fight here. Because, uh. He's got plenty of places to go. He has plenty of places to go, and he could just stay there. He could just stay in one spot and eat your time. Because. One thing to remember is that we are still being timed. The, the clock's still counting down. We're at almost five minutes left now. I think we'll be okay. I well, do yeah, like the attacks that the uh, Triskelion has. Oh, he hurts. He hurts. He hurts bad. Yeah. The thing is that lunge move is kind of all he has. Now we went and fucked off to a day. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> nope. Damn it, she found me. Oh, ah! damn it. He's a, he's, he's, he's a tricky little guy. And uh, let's catch him with his go. pants down again. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look at your radar, too. That helps. Oh, he's like right he, in front of you. He down here? He down below. He down here? Oh, there he is! I see him! Ah! There he is! No, 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 no. I thought it was going to work. I thought it was going to work. <laughs> shit, 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 Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to open the power Go, no, I'm sorry. I'm... Mercy, 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 parlay. Uh, cease fire. Stop. Yeah! Ah! And then, and then he, he vanished yeah, he just vanishes. without a trace. I wonder if that's how they came up with his name. Uh, oh dear. Well, now we can go back to our ship undisturbed, just make it up this pillar. Hopefully, we made it. We had enough time to keep. Are you kidding? Why? What? Three guardians? Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Nope. Damn it! All right. Again, yeah, this is how you uh, advance your difficulty. Most guardians are subs are susceptible to the hunter weapons, though. Oh, perfect! Like, like look at that one. Dead oh, gone. Just using the battle hammer here. Well, I can't wait till Samus gets the sniper rifle because apparently that headshots. Although sometimes the, uh, the guardians will be equipped with the hunter weapons themselves, and some will be more effective than others. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm 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 learning that a good charge beam does a lot more, and you're noticing I'm not using missiles a lot. They kind of pointless. They kind of stink. Compared to all the cool toys you're getting. The missiles are more situational weapons, I'm finding. Okay. Because they're, they're slow. I don't like their damage output. The rate of fire is really tiny. The charge beam, I feel like I have better control and it does more. But here I have to use the missile against these gamers because that's about the only thing that can damage them aside from probably universal, you know, the, the hunter weapons. So, they're more to help with exploration and killing smaller enemies. Perhaps. Maybe as a way to, you know, make a statement. Besides, multiplayer is a bigger focus. I don't think missiles help so much when you're yeah. when you're another hunter, or you have other alternate weapons and all that. Makes sense. The next time Metroid Prime Hunters, we're gonna go somewhere else. Revisit the place. Oh. Fantastic. And, and then the game gets harder. See you then.